It's an honor to be here again. It feels like I was just here yesterday. Or no, it actually feels like I was just here this morning. So weird. Deja vu. Amen. Have you ever had a deja vu moment? Some of you are like, oh, I don't know. I don't speak French. You know. <laughs> Amen. Lift your hands in the glory row. And this, maybe a keyboard player just for a minute or two, come up back up here. Steve is probably hiding back there again, like last night somewhere. Steve, if you're in the restroom, wherever you are, the Lord says, come back. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's sleepwalking. He, he worships in his sleep. He's sleepwalking. <laughs> oh, Lord, bless. Let's bless. give Steve a big hand, man. He's awesome. He's a local boy, so he's from our area. He does all our conferences since 2005 or six. He, he lives like an hour now or half an hour from our building or closer now. So he, he's at all our stuff in Arizona. So it was fun that we got to minister together without me having to host it. He was just at our, what, a few weeks ago, we just had a conference. So he was telling me yesterday, isn't it fun? We get to be here together, but you don't have to organize it. You just preach in it. I go, that's way better. We get to hang out more when I'm not organizing it than when I'm just here. You know? So man, glory's here. You feel that presence here? Man. Lord, we just worship you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your glory. Ha, ha, ha. More of that, Lord. Mm, it's a thick, thick, thick glory increasing right now. So last night, he wants to take us even higher and higher and higher. I mean, just, just for like two, three minutes, just begin to thank the Lord. To tell him how thankful you are. And do it in a song if you can. Like, thank you, Lord, that you did this for me. Thank you, Lord, that you did that. Just lift your voice. Just begin to worship him. The spontaneous worship. It's different than psalms and hymns that you know. The Bible says we come with psalms and hymns. That's songs that you know. And then it says, and a spiritual song. So the songs he's saying were songs that were written. But these, these is a spiritual song that you create. And when you create a new song, what happens is a new glory starts to come. It's a whole new dimension you walk into. That's how he killed the lions and bears and the Goliath. King David would sing a new song in his heart and a new power would come. And so tonight the word is breakthrough. And to get breakthrough, sing a new song about your breakthrough that's about to happen. Just do, just, just do it. Just try for three, four minutes. I'm serious. Some good's gonna happen. I'm making you do some work now. Amen. Mm-hmm. And I worship you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for the millions and millions about to be saved. Thank you for the open doors. Thank you that you're bringing so much more. Thank you, Lord, for the supernatural provision. And that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Thank you, Lord. I see you opening that door. Thank you for the miracles, the signs and the wonders. And thank you for the supernatural visitation whether in the meeting or in my room and even in my bed thank you lord for your greater glory you sing your own song you guys sing too come on lift your voices even if you sing terrible just don't join the worship team but sing it to the lord (laughs) because there's so much more because lord i'm desperate for you i know there's even much more I'm desperate for you, Lord. I'm not satisfied. I'm going out for more, Lord. I'm seeking your face. I'm seeking your face like Moses did. He saw your power. He saw the miracles. He saw deliverance of a nation out of Egypt. And yet he wasn't satisfied. He saw all the gold and the silver released. He saw the plagues being released. He saw everyone healed in the desert. But he said, I'm still not satisfied. I've seen your power. I've seen your ways. I've seen your works, almighty God. But I want to see your face. I want to see your face. Face to face. I want to see your face. Face to face. Even if I die going up that mountain, I'm going to try. With trembling and shaking, he went. He came up on the top of the mountain. And the Lord let him see the backside of his glory. And he was mesmerized, transformed, illuminated, glowing in the dark. And Lord, there's even more than that you have for us. In the new, even Stephen the martyr was glowing, Lord, when he saw you, oh God. God, we want to glow with your glory. God, we're desperate for you. 
How many are desperate for even more? Because we know there's more. So much, so much more like Elijah had. Like Paul had, oh God. Like John on the island of Patmos. Philip transported from place to place. And so much more. Even the revivals of the 1950s and 60s. The level of the miraculous never seen before. And Lord, here in Seattle, we're knocking. We're knocking on heaven's door. We're knocking on heaven's door. Because we know there's so much more. And in this place, there's angels ascending and descending. <laughs> there's a ladder. It's an open heaven. It's a Bethel. The house of God. But I hear the voice say, why don't you come on up? Yeah, there's angels ascending and descending from this place. But why don't you come on up? Why don't you climb that ladder? Why don't you see what I've got for you? And I heard a voice say, come on up. Come on up and I'll show you things you've never seen before. Come on up. Walk into heaven's door. Who glory. Glory, glory. Some of you are there right now. Some of you are going into the books of destiny. You're seeing what chapter of your life you're on for your destiny. Some are in the middle. Some are at the end. Some are at the beginning. Who? Some of you are going to take a soak in the crystal sea. Who? Worship at the throne of God with thundering, thunderings and lightnings and shakings and the, the living creatures with eyes all around. Who? How many want to have those moments with the Lord? And then that throne room experience, he'll give you new assignments, new direction. You think things are weird now. Wait till you see a creature with eyes on, on their wheels and on their f wings and they're all looking at you at the same time. That's pretty freaky. And it's, got, it's a four-headed creature. And it's not even four heads of one species. A human head, an ox, an eagle. I mean, come on. You, a lion's head? That's crazy. It's something from like the X-Men or something. It's like, I don't know. I think gall teeth are kind of weird. Well, wait till you get up there. This is going to way weirder. This is not, you haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> That's not weird at all. Up there, it's, it's a different, different weird. And even the blueprint for aircraft was in the throne. It says when the wheels begin to turn, the thing begin to hover and move. When the wheels turn. So the, even the idea of, of travel, circular momentum, the whirlwind of Elijah, circular glory, I call it. When, a thing, when the whirlwind came, he got transported. Revelation knowledge, man. How many want that? So when, when there's one thing when the Spirit comes, when it starts to move, then things start to move. Your destiny, the miracles, supernatural, like Philip. So it's one thing to get the glory to come. It's another to start getting it to move. And sometimes we move before he moves. We feel it come. Oh, it's here. Pray for everybody. And then nothing happens. You're like, well, what happened? He came, but he didn't move yet. How many want to learn the ways of the glory? It's not like the anointing. You don't work the glory. You don't work the gifts. I mean, you don't work the glory like the gifts. Gifts is one thing. Glory is you yield the gifts and even your anointing to the when the greater glory comes. You're like, okay, I'm not doing it how I normally do, even though it works. There's something greater here than I'm used to, so I'm not going to function like I did. I'm going to go carefully and step in and go. Okay, now what, Lord? How many want to enter the new realm? Like I, can, I always say, it's better to be an amateur in this new glory than a professional in the old anointing. Because you know you know how to work it. You know how it moves. But but there's a new where you're like dependent on the Lord. Can you believe the blueprint for aircraft was in Ezekiel? Isn't that amazing? When the wheels begin to move, the thing began to hover. The first air helicopter was right there in Ezekiel. And it had wings too, probably didn't hurt. Amen. Oh, <laughs> Rabashakarai. Thank you, Lord, for glory, Lord. Revelation knowledge. Impartation tonight. Breakthrough tonight, oh God. And there, there, there is breakthrough tonight. We were talking about it with Charlie. There's a breakthrough angel here. That wants you to break through into doors that have been slammed shut. And, and maybe you've tried to bust the doors open on your own at the wrong time. That's, that's an Ishmael. But then there's other times where it's the Lord's time and he'll bust it open. As you press into him, he'll bust it open for you. And that's the way you want it. You don't want to open the door before the time. Then, then it ruins it. You know, then it's like aborted. Then you, then you get hit. You know, I, I just say, Lord, I just want what you want. How many are stopping to strive? You don't want to strive anymore. So if you're striving, I want to do something big, Lord. I want to do this. I want to get on TV. I want to, no, don't, don't lay all that down. Lay it all down because it's a combination of wanting to be used and a combination of self-motivation, motives that are not from, to feel because there's an insecurity in your heart so you want to feel important. 
So you got to die to all that, Lord. I'm just happy I'm saved. I'm just happy your glory's in my bedroom. Oh, thank you, Lord. And after, as you humble yourself, then he'll lift you up. He'll open the door. He'll, when, you, when it's time. How many want to just do that? If we'll die to even the good things that we think we're supposed to do for him, then he'll, he'll resurrect it. Resurrection. Put it on the altar. Hey, if it's God, he'll resurrect it. If it wasn't, I'm supposed to marry this person, but I'm, I just, it's not working out. Why? Well, she doesn't think so. Well, then put it on the altar. <laughs> Better not try to make that one happen. You're going to get a lot more counseling. Or oh, I already did it. It's too late now. Okay, now, now you got to stay together. <laughs> you were right. I shouldn't have married her. Well, uh, dude, now it's too late. <laughs> get some counseling. <laughs> you got. You were right. I repent. No, 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 no. You can't change it now. <laughs> I thought you can time travel. Yeah, but not with that one. <laughs> there's some except you got to read the rules there's exceptions in there you know <laughs> you got to read the, the operating instructions <laughs> oh man it's getting quiet in here <laughs> I mean, we're laughing i know and some people are hurting through that but god's gonna he'll help you he'll do it <sighs> you know the ark of the covenant they they, they didn't read it they, they didn't realize this this guy tried to fix the wheel the priest tried to, and he dropped dead <clears throat> it was an electric car it was an electric vehicle the ark it was a new technology of glory he had to learn when things in the temple broke. Oh, I fixed this. I used to be a mechanic at Ford or something before I was a priest. And he went there and tried to fix the wheel of the ark. And just dropped dead. Because it, it was an electrical vehicle. It was a Tesla. See what I'm saying? It was a different technology. And he tried to use old tools for a new technology. He went to heaven. He just went early. Didn't say he was backslidden. He just touched the wrong thing and he got electrocuted. And then David got mad, and Obadiah took the ark home with him. He knew how to handle that new technology, and everything in his house prospered. His kids, his food, his garden. And then King David's like, wait a second. No, we got to get it back. And if I can get it to Jerusalem, the whole nation will get it. We can get the glory to Seattle, to the, to the big city, of, of, the whole state will get it. Get it to D.C., the whole nation will get it. Get it on the high places. Get it on TV. Get it on. He, he wants to come out of the little hit, hiding places. He wants to be in the open now. That's why we did Awake in 2020. He wants to come out. He wants to come out in the open so the world can see. But there's a, he had to be careful. He repented every few feet, did a sacrifice. There was a price. And sometimes we take it lightly, the, the price to pay for to get, to get all this. But there's a price. Amen. And we have to die too. How many want to die so you can live? No longer I who live, but Christ in me. I die to all that. I just want you, Lord. How about just spending time with him just for him? Not asking for everything all the time. I mean, there's times you ask for stuff, but Lord, I just want to be with you. I just want to be in that realm. I just miss you, Lord. Oh, I want more. And he's so touched. Like, you have, how many have kids? Your little kids? When they go, Dad, I just want to be with you. Doesn't that melt your heart? Yeah, and you want to bless them. You want to buy them ice cream. You want to give them a gift. You know, they're like, Dad, I, they're, not, they're not like, Daddy, I don't want popcorn. Daddy, you know, you know, the kids do that in a movie theater or something or Walmart. But they're just, Daddy, I just want to be with you. I miss you. That, that melts your heart. Then you want to give them all the other stuff anyway. So kids, now don't manipulate. Don't try to take what I'm teaching. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to get that toy I've always wanted and that bicycle. No, no, don't do that. I'm going to just say, Daddy, I love you so much. And by the way, did you see that bike? No, don't do that. <laughs> oh, man. Glory, glory. Mm, there's a breakthrough angel here. Amen. And when that breakthrough angel comes, things start to break open. And so when I feel that breakthrough, like even when I'm in my own life, then I start to decree a thing. And, and the angels boom, just start to bust things open. The greater glory, you have these big breakthrough angels. And wherever you go, they do like a headbutt. Boom, they just knock things open. How many need something knocked open right now? Like a, like a bulldozer angel. Amen. When I was in Ukraine, we were there like four times. And these big, huge Ukrainian dudes, man, they're huge. They don't work out. They're just big, naturally strong. And, and I called them... I go, you, uh, you, Dimitri, you are a bulldozer. He goes, thank you. Hallelujah. In fact, he lives here. There's a guy, I think he lives here now. His name is Dimitri in, in the area. He's a pastor, another Ukrainian pastor. And he, he was one of the top evangelists in the whole Ukraine and Russia at the time. He got us into Moscow, Siberia, Novosibirsk, all, big, big, big meetings, you know, and all over Kiev, what's being now bombarded, uh, um, Kharkov, Kharkov, which is the... They call it Kharkiv, but it's actually Kharkov. That's how you pronounce it, Eastern. And, and man, we had crazy revival in all these places. They're, they're so on fire in Ukraine. But they're bulldozers, man. They got these bulldozer angels. You know, I'm, I'm Ukrainian. Hallelujah. But the guy talks like a gangster. He lives here in the town. He goes, my name is Dimitri. He looks like a thug that sells drugs in Ukraine. And he used to, actually. 
It's like his daughter told me one time, he, she was just not just courting a, a boy, you know, they're just hanging out just to see. And he was scared to death. Of it. She goes, let me show you a picture, of my, a video of my dad preaching. He wouldn't meet the dad, scared to death of the dad. I am Pastor you, Dimitri. I love you. I don't think so. <laughs> Slava Bogo. That's how he talks, man. And I, he found, he was a prisoner. He was in jail. I mean, he's, those are, I love those guys. Amen. But how many need a breakthrough right now? When you stand up, and I'm going to pray for it. Not you want to break through. There's a certain area in your life you really need a breakthrough right now. I'm sure everyone's like, oh, sure. I'm talking about like you. there's something really you need it to open up now. There's something like it has to happen because otherwise you'll be in trouble, you know. Or you're on your last leg. All right, lift your hands. Close your eyes. Lord, I ask you right now that angel called breakthrough, the breakthrough angels to be released right now over this place father over your people oh god oh i could feel a shift right now go in father god and break those chains break the the doors that were bolted shut by the enemy the 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 hindering spirits that were put in the front lord breakthrough begin to be released now over your people father god line of judah roar over your people father god in the name of jesus and i'm going to do something a little crazy Uh, i'm going to count to three i'm going to ask you to roar or, or or at least shout and when a lion, you know, roars, he puts his face to the ground like this, and he roars. And what happens is it travels. It travels for miles. And all the animals, miles away, they can, f- you can either hear him if they're close enough, or they can feel the vibration of the sound wave. And they start backing off, and they yield the territory to the lion. The, oh, lions in our midst. And they start, and we did this in Denver, Colorado. It was a four-night revival at Power Invasion. It used to be Marilyn Hickey's old church that someone bought. And we did that. It was supposed to be four nights. We roared. And, and I said, the, the demons are going to fill it all the way in Boulder where there's a lot of Satanists. And dude, that thing exploded. The revival went for eight weeks in 2008. And the witches came the next day and the next day. And they were circling the property, cursing it. And the elders said, what are you doing? He goes, he goes, oh, we're witches and warlocks. And why are you attacking our property? Oh, you, whatever you guys are doing here, we feel it an hour away in Boulder, Colorado. And it, there's been a disturbance in the force and we can't do our stuff. He goes, I'm the third highest sorcerer. And so, now the night before, a squirrel, the second night of revival was pouring rain, and it started leaking. And then the next night, a squirrel got into the electric system, the whole power went out. He was the first martyr of that revival, the squirrel. <laughs> or he was a suicide bomber, you know, he blew himself up. And don't judge the family of the squirrel. It was just, you know, he was a quiet squirrel, very nice, very polite. The neighbors said he was always helpful and courteous, but you know, he was a suicide bomber. You never, you never know, you know. Sometimes it's the quiet ones that do it. So don't judge all squirrels with the family of that squirrel. But that squirrel was the martyr of that revival. And I told Bob Jones one time, he goes, that was a squirrely demon. <laughs> and, then, so, and then the power went out, so I just kept preaching in the dark. Then the next day, the witches are walking around. And they're like, we, we're here because there's something happened. Because the night before we shouted, f- uh, north, south, east, and west. And, he's, and he, say, he came. And then they go, why don't you come inside to see what's, what's about? Oh, no, no, I, I can't walk in there. He said, if I walk in, I might drop dead. That's what he told the usher. He was a smart guy. And he probably heard about the squirrel they sent. That didn't work out. And why did number one and number two not come? They sent the third level guy. <laughs> Someone's got to keep things running in Boulder, you know? And so, and then we found decapitated animals on the property, on one of the intercessor's house. And then they were coming. And then they started sneaking in. And I would know by the spirit. I'd go, okay, guys, tonight, we're going to welcome everybody here, the visitors. How many are from wherever? How many witches, warlocks, or Satanists do we have from the local coven? Stand up. We don't welcome you. We would clap. And they're like, what? I go, yeah, right there. Those two back there. Come on, stand up. And they're like, oh, come on. If you worship Satan, you're not scared of Christians, right? Come on. And they kind of sheepishly stood up. And we all clap for them. Hey, welcome. We love you. Okay, great. So coven over here, Wiccan people. That Great, you know. And, and, and I go, now let me explain to you. Some of you sent some squirrels over here, and they're dead. You kill the cat. There's a cat with no head. Okay, I get it. So here, so let, let's reason together. You're copying the idea of blood sacrifice, which does bring some demonic power. And then we got our, but you guys copied our blood sacrifice, which is Jesus. So the idea is the purer the blood sacrifice, the higher the entity it conjures up. That's how it works in both ways. Demonic or godly, the higher or the purer the sacrifice, the more powerful the entity that you conjure. So you conjured up some local territorial demons, you know, because you killed an animal. We, we're using the blood of Jesus, the sinless one that never died, uh, never sinned, rose from the dead. So in ring number one, you've got the Messiah rose from the dead. In the other boxing ring, you got a cat with no head. Which one, which sacrifice do you think is more powerful? I said to them, you, you just tell me. So we already won before you started, dude. 
And the idea of blood sacrifice, it wasn't from Satan. He copied God's idea. We think, oh, Satan is blood sacrifice. Dude, let's compare blood with blood. I wasn't mad. I wasn't screaming at him. I was like, wait, wait. And some of them got saved. Some left, slammed the door. It was fun. And then the revival went for eight weeks. So the first week or two was witchcraft. Then the second, three or fourth week into it was the religious spirit. One night, 40 pastors came like this. Oh, it's going to be a fun night tonight. So then that, so then I start, it's like, you know, like, like Pac-Man, you get different levels or those boxing video games, you get the different levels of guys. So it's like, oh, this is the religious one. So, okay, I got to do a little different on this one. So I get up there and, and I could feel it. And I said, okay, some of you, you pastor here, you're jealous because this church got revival. Yours doesn't have it. You could have had it. He offered it to you. Some of you had it for a few weeks. You lost some people. You got scared about the tithes. So you said, no, thank you. But deep down inside, you regret it because you're, you were born for this and you became religious or seeker sensitive to maintain the church, the finances. But deep down inside, you're miserable because you didn't sign up for ministry for what you're doing. And so now you're jealous that they have it. So you're willing to criticize them. But deep down inside, you wish you had it. But you weren't willing to pay the price. Oh, man, it, it hit some stuff right there. And I said, I know where you're at. But if you want, you know, want this, come on, don't fight us, join us. And, it, and, it, and they stopped attacking the church. They stopped creating. They back, some were like, okay, we're, we want to join in. Some were like, okay, we, we're not going to join, but we won't attack you. You know, he who has not sinned, throw the first stone. It's fun, man. And then we had weather patterns. We had leaks. We had, how many know? Just, I'm sure you guys have had all that stuff. You just keep going from glory to glory to glory. But, but let's, let's pray now. Father, I pray the doors are open favor to begin to come financial miracles to come favor over their finances properties buying selling father god deliverance some of you are being even though you're saved you're tormented by a tormenting spirit lift your hands right now you're being bothered in the spirit room father in the name of jesus i ask the blood of jesus to cover them in jesus name the blood of jesus one drop of the blood hit the ground and literally an earthquake shook the ground and dead bodies rose from the graves opened the graves, walked around Jerusalem, and that same blood I apply tonight. Let the blood of Jesus go into your life, into your bloodline, and whatever is tormenting you, whatever is causing depression, oppression, frustration, strife, sickness, curses, financial, blood of Jesus come in right now and break the chain. Break the chain. Break the chain. And I command that heaviness, that spirit, that, that oppression to lift off of you right now. Go, you, you'd be surprised. You think, well, in a revival like this, yeah, there are people in here now that are still oppressed. Go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Mental disorders, blood of Jesus going now. Blood of Jesus, come on, let it go. Blood of Jesus come in right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Whew. Lift, lift, lift. Thank you, Lord. Now that some of the childhood stuff that opened the door is being healed, the trauma, fathers, uncles, mothers, things that happened as a kid that affected your relationship with the Lord. Go in there, Lord, and reset the DNA code, reset the emotions. Some of you just didn't get affirmation, so you're trying to always prove that you're good enough. Look, I'm doing this for the Lord. Look, I'm doing this. But that, he doesn't need that. He just wants you to know he loves you no matter what you do or don't do. Oh, blood of Jesus, come, 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 come. Rejection, break in Jesus' name. Rejection, break, 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 break. Woo, things are lifting right now. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. There it goes, let it go, let it go, let it go. Unforgiveness, bitterness, let it go. Family problems, relatives, you don't talk to them, they don't talk to you. We break the enmity now. The blood of Jesus to begin to come. Blood of Jesus come in. The dividing line go in, 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 in. Break! generational curses of finances poverty break 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 right now i see a heaviness like you some of you have even on your shoulder you feel this heaviness is lifting off some of you have these migraine headaches it's lifting off right now part of it's from the warfare it's not just physical lift 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 blood of jesus go in their bloodline and set them free from the generational stuff lord doors trauma emotionally that opened up divorces family splits beatings as a kid sexual abuse or whatever it is that you went through We're healing 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 there it is there it is i feel it you're really breaking now every abuse verbal physical breaks 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 shame break break go go out in jesus name man i feel the presence here so strong there's just some deliverance happening deliverance doesn't always mean like people throwing up you know that right that's that people will think you know give me the ring or something you know 
no, you can't have the ring. The ring. Clean it, clean it up. You know. Sometimes they're like that, and, but not always. Seattle's got more like, they know how to behave demons, you know. But they're still here. They're, they're woke demons, you know. <laughs> they're socially cool demons, but they're still there. And they're coming out in Jesus' name. You know, I, I command every, every left-wing demon to come out in Jesus' name. Uh, ideologies, the strongholds of the mind. Yes, in Jesus' name, come out. In Jesus' name, left-wing demons. Demons that feel like they got to wear three masks. One mask to protect the other mask from the other mask. While they're alone in their car driving. <laughs> and they expect people to say, thank you for your service. While they're driving, Lord, set them free, Father. Set them free from idio- I- idiocy, Lord. In Jesus' name. Set them free, Father, from stupidity. In Jesus' name. I'm not saying not to wear a mask if you think you need to, but you're loaning your car with three? Thank you, Lord. Just set them free, Lord, from fear. It's the spirit of fear. Set them free. If it's not an N95, it doesn't protect you anyway. Scientifically proven. Follow the science. All right. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name. And also, when you go to a restaurant, fear. Oh, I have it on. As long as I have it on at the hostess stand, and I keep it on while I walk to the table... But the virus knows that once you're at the table, even it knows the rules of, of war. It doesn't attack you while you're eating. It would never. So as long as you're eating, you're safe. But the danger zone is that few feet from the hostess stand to the table. They, they're scientifically proven that there's a danger zone there. But once you sit, you can take it off because it knows, oh no, I, even, they, even it has its own level of ethics. It wouldn't just attack you while you're sitting with your family eating. Like that's, so, so, that, so that's, why, that's why they do that. It's for your own good. Does that make sense? But watch out from that hostess stand to the table. Sir, your nose wasn't covered. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. I think you're safe now. We're going to walk you with security to your table. Okay. I think you're good. Now, quick, sit down. Okay. Now, take it off. (laughs) I'm I'm not saying it's not a real virus. I know people have died of it, but I'm saying the fear of it is the thing you got to be free of. People have died. Okay. There's obese if you're already sick. Oh, man. How many feel set free right now? Man, the glory is here. Is there someone here named Marilyn? Marilyn. Could be, all, could be a live stream as well. About it getting Marilyn and Laura. Marilyn and Laura. I'm just going to prophesy over the, over the thing if they're not here. Or someone maybe close to you. Maybe it's your, your wife or your... Hopefully if you're a man, it's your wife. Amen. I'm going to pray over the live stream. I think it's someone on live stream. Lord, I pray for Marilyn right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for that situation you're going through, Lord. I pray you would help her, help her, help her to make the decision, and it's the tough decision that she has to do, but it's for her own good or else that situation you're in will be very dangerous for you. You know exactly what it is. You know who the person is. And I pray, help her to make that decision that for a season to get out of that house so God can resolve it and she can be physically protected in the name of Jesus. Amen. Man, there's an open heaven here, guys. How many want more? There's a realm of revelation knowledge that comes when the glory begins to come. How many want revelation knowledge? So revelation is a key that unlocks the manifest, and you get it by spending time with the Lord. Then he'll lead you to scriptures or revelation, and so you spend time with the Lord, and he drops something in your spirit, and it unlocks nations, unlocks finances, unlocks favor. How many want that revelation knowledge? I said yesterday or this morning, the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory. So not just the glory, but the knowledge of that realm. And each realm that comes, it's, if it's new, say, Lord, oh, this is a different realm. How do I unlock this one? Huh? Oh, there's a Laura online. Okay. All right. Hey, Laura online, I'm going to pray for you right now. Thanks for reminding me. He's my Holy Spirit to remind me. <laughs> Laura online, we pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, that's just a sickness in your body right now, in your stomach. I pray for healing right now. I command that thing in the stomach, I think it's in your intestines, to begin to go. Healing to come in. The fire of God to go through your body and completely heal you. In the name of Jesus, in your stomach, every virus goes. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Man, the glory of God is here. I, I always forget, so I'll, I'll just do it now. We have Revelation books here, Limitless Glory. How many want to go to this newest book, Limitless Glory? This has the stuff where I shared about as when you think about something in the spirit realm, it's, it's just like decreeing it, it gets created. You can think it in the glory and it also creates. 
And, and as man thinks, so is he, I'll do you above what you ask or think. The Bible says, think on these things. Things are good, righteous, noble. You know, so he gave, he gave uh, Abraham, he goes, as many stars as you see, that's how many kids you're going to have. Why did he do that? Because it was a picture every night under the stars he living outside. He gave him a, 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 something to think about. And as he thought about it, boom, it, started, it started creating in his wife's womb. So how many want to put things before you in the spirit realm, before your eyes? And what you look at starts manifesting. If you look at it long enough in the spirit realm, it's like speaking it. You do the two together, I'll do exceedingly above what you ask or think. I don't know. I'm not going to use my brain unless God tells me to. That could be part of your problem in a lot of areas of your life. Because <laughs> your brain's going to go negative anyway. So you may as well on purpose make it think something good. That sounds like new age. No, that's not new age. The devil copies what the Bible does. So they, they do think what you want. It'll, come, it'll happen without God. They're like, whatever you want to happen. That, no, that, now that's witchcraft because oh, it's what God already told you. See, Jesus said, I only do what I see or hear the Father do. Then you think and decree those things. Right? Like King David saw Bathsheba. He, he put it into motion. He probably said, wow, I'm going to go for that. Thought about it. Imagine it. It happened. It almost destroyed him. So it works both ways. But you want to get in the glory. Ask the Lord what you, even like doing ministry stuff that you want to do because someone else did it, but it's not for you. Dumb. That's a dumb demon right there. You know how people I know started a church because they thought, well, I'll get a good... I'll get a salary every month, at least that. And they're not pastors at all. They're beating the sheep. <laughs> they're taking out their anger every Sunday morning on 100 people. Yeah, here. <laughs> let's go to church again and get beat up. Amen, let's go. You know, you're all wicked and stupid and not, you know nothing. <laughs> wow, isn't that a great church to go to? Feel uplifted. You, you get saved every Sunday. You're in the altar every Sunday. Not, not repenting of your sin, getting saved. Like, you're like I'm not even saved. Amen. But not this church. This guy, look at this. Look at Smiley. Look at his face. Hey, Tura, show, show me your face. He's, he's the happy, happy, smiley pastor. Amen. Full of love. He exemplifies Jesus, man. He's just like Jesus coming through him. Love. Amen. And then when you feel that love, and then there is a correction, it's easy to like, oh, yeah, I love you, man, but you're hurting yourself. Please don't. Do I could see him doing that easily, but you could receive it because it's out of love. See, oh, please. Like Jesus told the, the prostitute, he protected her. He backed her up. Okay, you don't have sin. Go, and then he goes, dude, stop doing it because it's going to kill you. Both they're going to kill you and the sin will kill you. But it was out of love. How many want to correct out of love? Amen. Now demons, you don't have to correct them out of love. You go get out of here. You know, uh, the the demons didn't like it, man. You're going to see a lot more in Seattle. A lot more deliverances are going to start happening. It's, it's going to be a wave that's coming because you see those in other countries, but it's going to happen a lot more. We had it. I was where was I in Branson um, yesterday? I think it was. Yeah, last night. No, Friday night. I was in Branson. Missouri? Yeah, and then Saturday, I, my flight got delayed five times. That's why I came really late. I was traveling to Dallas, trying to avoid, you know, weather patterns. And the devil did not want me here, I tell you that. And, uh, but we had a lady deliverance start happening just at the altar, just like, Wah! you know. Isn't that fun when you scare little kids? <laughs> then we were in Pakistan in November, 100,000 people. We, did, we didn't do just the crusade. We did another meeting before that, and that was like 30,000. That was their normal church service. And it was, it was like a mini crusade. I mean, it was mass deliverances, mass miracles, mass everything. And then we went to the actual crusade, and that was another level. But even the first one, I go, they go, oh, this is our Wednesday night meeting. I get over there, oh my God, half them weren't saved, Muslim. I mean, it was crazy. That was the, the Wednesday night. And they own like this kind of open air field thing, and then they have, it's weird. And it exploded. And, and that was November, because the glory began to come down. And when they're desperate, that's when things begin to happen. And so, like I said today, God's going to make us more desperate in the times ahead. He's going to allow certain world events to happen to make us desperate. But it's, it's good. It, it, anything that makes you desperate, that's when God starts to move. Acts 4, they got really desperate. Acts 2, they were hungry. And, and Jesus left. They denied Jesus. They were sorry. Lord, forgive us. Holy Spirit came. They went to the upper room. But Acts 4, by between 2 and 4, persecution increased. Famine started hitting the Roman Empire. Control, the religious spirit telling them you can't have meetings. It sound familiar? You can't go to church. You can't speak in that name. You can't sing. You can't. And that's what was happening. And they go, oh, Lord, look at the threats. Look at the financial situation. We're also under Roman occupation. Another country with troops. Think about it. It was not fun. Lord, won't you help me? And the religious spirit is going gonna, is gonna to tell the Romans to get us in jail. I guess it's, it's a bad situation. And we, and we hear a famine's coming. Lord, help us. And, and another level of glory came. The place was shaken. Glory began to happen. Signs and wonders. And the number of souls now multiply. So in the harder, dark times, the harvest actually multiplies. The greatest revival in China happened when it was persecution, not before. 
You know, we've had more revivals in America when we had presidents that we thought were wicked than we did when we thought we had ones that were more Christian. Under President Bush, not many revivals happened. Under Clinton, a lot of revivals. We had uh, Toronto Blessing, Pensacola, Smithton, the Argentinians. All right? It's getting quiet in here. Under Trump, we didn't have too many new revivals. Now I think we're about to get a massive revival because we have huge wickedness right now. I had the worst of the worst. So the church is starting to go, oh my God, we, I thought Trump was going to get back in. What's going on? Now they're really crying out to God. Lord, politics isn't the answer anymore. Sure, bring the right good person, but we're not going to depend on that. Whether or not Nero was crucifying Christians on the streets and the greatest removes of God were happening. Iran, huge move of God's happening. Russia right now, huge move. Ukraine, there's a war, but there's huge moves of God going on. So we're not dependent on a righteous government. We would like to have it. It would be a lot easier. Less, we won't get, it won't have as much jail time, but it doesn't stop you. How many are like, Lord, whatever happens, I'm going for it. I'm not waiting around. Because we were told if we don't get the right president and we might not get revival. That's what I was told. No. I'm, in fact, more people are doing open air events now than when Trump was president. Sean Foyt wasn't doing the thing. Mar Miller wasn't doing the terror. Suddenly during the dark, more are getting saved. Because we're realizing our desperateness. When we're weak, then we're strong. When we realize, when we think, oh, we got a good government. Everyone's Christian. Every prophet and pastor's going to the White House. We got our photo. Oh, we're doing good. And then nothing's happening. Shouldn't be like that. The goodness of God's lead people to repentance, but also the fear of God can too. The shakings of God. We've had the goodness, but the shakings are coming. But it's for our good to make us cry out to him so greater things begin to happen. I know it doesn't agree with your mind. I don't even like what I'm saying. My mind doesn't agree with what I'm saying, but my spirit does. My mind's like, no, 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 no. Just goodness of God, and we'll, we'll, we'll repent. Just bless our nation. Bring prosperity. No, no, we get more prosperity, more freedom. We'll, we'll do it better. No, Lord, but, I, but my spirit's going, yeah, we tried that, but now... <laughs> Under the last four years, we should have done the most crusades. We should have done the most. We had the, all the backup. We should, have, we should have really gone for it. We did. We did We did one big state event in Phoenix. We were able to pull that off in 2020, right before um, it shifted. But I'm saying is, and now that it's dark, everyone's trying to get, the send is doing theirs again. Everyone's going for it. How many want to go for Jesus this year? How many couldn't care less, but you could care more? Amen. I have this other book here, The Courts of Heaven. It has on how to reset your DNA in the spirit, quantum levels of glory, how sound creates matter, increasing your vibrational frequency, how to sync your calendar, your, your planner with heaven's calendar. There's times on the calendar that God promises. I told you about the, the Shemitah time, the seven-year cycles, the, the feast. You can position yourself just by, and Troy knows about, a lot about this, Troy Brew, but you can position yourself for seasonal portals of favor just by understanding where, when they are on the Hebrew calendar. Isn't that awesome? How many want this one? Okay, how many want it, but you're not sure you have enough money for it? Okay, ask your neighbor for the money. No, I'm kidding. This one, Limitless Glory. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, well, that's good stuff. This has bloodline stuff too. Reaping where you've never sown. How many want that one? Pulling the future into the now. That has the future stuff in here. Pulling, oh, how to pull in the end time harvest. Um, going from obscurity to supernatural promotion. Uh, how to access and minister from your heavenly seat. I have to give it to you, right? <laughs> it's hard to say no. I mean, this lady, please, uh, how are you going to? No, get out of here. <laughs> just cut. I, just, I just didn't have the heart to not to say no. You should have waited till I maybe threw it to you. Then there's another one. Um, I can't remember all my book. Aligning with Heaven is a whole book on the seasonal portals, basically. How many want that? So, so the next big seasonal portal is Passover. What you call Easter, but it's not really Easter. It's Passover. It's not, it's, not this, it's not the goddess of Ishtar, which is what Easter means. It's Passover. And there's a heavenly portal that opens up when you gather. He says, even the Bible says, do not forsake the gathering yourselves together and keep the feast. It says keep the feast, but not with the old leaven. Meaning do it, but in the New Testament, New Covenant with Jesus, not legalistically. Oh, I'm not Jewish. No, you grafted in. You get to go to the party. You're in. You're in the club. When I go to Israel, they go, why are you guys celebrating? You can't celebrate. You guys, your bus tour is not all Jewish. Oh, there's a black person there, a white person, an Asian. What the heck? You guys aren't Jewish. I go, I'm your brother from another mother. <laughs> Same father. Uncle, Uncle Jesus got us in, you know. <laughs> Getting quiet in here. And, and you got glory and power. How are you having? We're, the, we're his people. Yeah, we, but we, you are too. You can have him. You just, you, if you want your Messiah, you can have all this too. We're, this is your thing. We're doing your thing, dude. This is not our Christian thing. This is your Jewish Messiah that we, that we get to have too. 
So he's trying to make the adopted kids jealous for the, get the original kids jealous by the adopted kids. <laughs> I mean, want to make them jealous for their Messiah. So that's what it's all about. But they see it as like, oh, we honor and respect your religion as only respect our religion. But if they think you're doing their thing, that's when they get mad and jealous. Imagine you get Arabs in Jordan celebrating the Feast of Tabernacles with signs, wonders, and miracles and doing Hava, Nagila, Hava. A bunch of Arabs and the Jews are like, what? And miracles and resurrections and provision. And they're at the wall going, huh? Huh? How long we got to do this? Huh? Okay, I'm going to get a three o'clock. Okay, bagel, bagel. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, they probably got six packs like Lou Engle. You know, they got, it's good for your stomach, but it's like something's missing, you know. That's why most secular Israelis don't want the religion. They don't, they go to, they go to military and they go to India after, try to find the Maharaji or, um, they don't know what they're doing, you know. <laughs> they don't go to the temple and become more Jewish. They go to like India, Nepal, all these Israeli dudes. Dude, they don't want, they know the religion's dead. Oh, it's getting quiet. But how come it was powerful in the Old Testament? Yeah. And how come now it's not? Here's the reason. They took the blood out. Once they took the blood out, when the temple got destroyed, they couldn't do blood sacrifice anymore. So they actually got together, the, the, the leaders of Israel, when they were scattered, they go, we have a problem here. Le- technically, I'm going to the Torah. There's no power. There's no forgiveness to sin without blood. They actually changed the rules that's not biblical. They said, okay, we'll say you can do a mitzvah, a good deed. You let a dove go free. You help the poor. So they went back to works. But they weren't doing that in the Old Testament. They were actually doing it right. That's why the temple, the glory showed up with Solomon. And then another one, there was another option. The option was, or we can believe that this Jesus who we killed and rose from the dead is the Messiah. And they chose option number one, we'll just recreate Judaism. So modern day Judaism today is not even biblical. That's why there's no power. And they get really mad when you say that. But that's the truth. But Gentiles, we missed a lot of stuff. We don't do the feast anymore. Most people, we don't do. So we're broke. We, our divorce rate is as high as the world. We're all sick, but we're saved. That's about it, right? But how many want to get everything back that we lost? We lost, we lost all the blessings the Jews have today. The Jews have pretty good families, pretty good health, f- prosperity, because they still all follow that stuff. And we threw all that out and just got salvation only. We need to get back prosperity, influence, right? Set mountains. We need to get back with Jesus and signs and wonders and then you got the whole package now they're jealous but you're knocking on their door Mr. Spielberg you want to go to my church God did a miracle I only take Prozac once a week now you know like that's not going to cut it I'm sorry my car is leaking on your driveway my car I've I've had this for 30 years I need a new car can you help me get a loan for that you know like (laughs) I'm on my fourth marriage but God's working something out you know and I'm not making fun of that but my point is that they get to see more than just your words of Jesus is good. Like, they got to see it. <laughs> so, oh man, it's getting quiet in here. So when I go to the, do, when I do the, the roots, I don't, we're not going to go circumcise people, okay? That's not what we're talking about here. But if you wanted to connect with Israel in that way, we have a rabbi in the back. Where he's really good with a knife. And you'd be like, wow, that, that meeting really marked me, you know. That's, that's not what we're doing here. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. We're doing the spiritual part of it. We're getting the seasonal portal with Jesus, redeeming into the new. <laughs> wow, I'll never forget. And most kids under 12 didn't know what that word meant anyway, so we're good, okay? But that, that's not what we're talking about. And people get scared. They just need your react. I don't want to get into that Jewish stuff, you know? No, Jesus is Jewish, by the way. And, and he's come back to his people. Like when he says, and it was the Feast of Dedication, and I'm, and it goes on, and I'm the light of the world. That means that was Hanukkah. The Feast of Dedication is Hanukkah. So it was lit up with the candles. See? So he uses that feast as a backdrop even to say, oh, you think that's cool? I'm the light of the world. How many, you want to understand the scriptures, see? Man, and when you have that revel, revelatory, right? there's a revelation knowledge realm here. I wanted to go into miracles, all stuff, but God, revelations is hitting right now. How many want revelation, man? How many couldn't care less, but you do? <laughs> just say, Lord, just raise your hand. Give me revelation. It's the last night, so we're just kind of flowing. Give me revelation knowledge tonight, Father. Give me the missing keys of what I'm missing tonight, Lord. We're just winging it in the glory. Revelation knowledge. In the name of Jesus, the knowledge of the glory. <laughs> Some of you are drinking while you're thinking. <laughs> I'm getting drunk up here. Suddenly you'll know things you never knew. Now you can find your keys. <laughs> you remembered. Increase your IQ supernaturally. Your brain cells are coming back. Thank you, Lord. Lord, renew your, the minds of your people, Father. Literally. <laughs> and 
and spiritually. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, mmm. Hura mahakala shika. Shakalaka, boom. It's coming right now. Revelation, here it comes. Just, just drink the revelation. Taste and see the Lord is good. Taste it. He ate the scroll like it was like honey, but then it hurt in his stomach. Eat the revelation now. It was hard, a lot to digest, that's why. Ooh. There it is. There's more coming. Sometimes when you get drunk, you get revelation. People like you, you, you start to say things you never would normally say. Hey, you know, I have this weird thought. You're drunk. What if? <sighs> Lord, just, just, just start drinking it now. Even the most anal among you, just drink. Pretend you got a big wheelbarrow and just really bottoms up. Drink. <sighs> drink. Yeah, do it. try it. Dr- drink revelation. Some of you are a little bit constipated spiritually. Just drink. Let the river flow is what I'm trying to say. And however you want to interpret that. <laughs> Don't analyze it or just do a word study on it. Actually drink it. Drink of his presence. <laughs> but I thought we're in the end of the world. We are. That's why you need to get drunk. In the spirit. It's the end of the world as we know it, but I feel fine. <laughs> Are we going to have a war? I don't know. Let's get drunk. Is the banking system about to collapse? Probably. But let's get this drink. Are they going to increase persecution and laws against Christians in America? Most likely. It says in the Bible. But get this drink. Are they going to lock some places down again? Probably in some of the Democratic places. But let's drink. Am my taxes going up? Y'all. Yeah. Drink. Are gas prices going to go through the roof? Probably. Should I, buy a, should I buy a Tesla? Drink. <laughs> Whatever. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> Taste and see the Lord is good. <sighs> should I sell my stocks? I don't know. Drink. <sighs> should I buy or sell a house? I don't know. But drink. As you get drunk, you'll know. <laughs> Great, you keep drinking. One more. I'm almost done here. Hold on. More, 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 more. Are they listening to my phone calls? Probably, but drink. Are they, are they monitoring my texts? I think so. Sometimes I'm on the phone with some Christians that are paranoid. They go... I think we're being monitored to hear that clicking sound. And I'll just start preaching the gospel. Hey, if you're out there at CIA, let me tell you, Jesus loves you, man. I know you're just doing your job. They told you to do this. And you know, you're, and I start prophesying to them. I'm just like, if they're listening anyway, may as well just preach to them. They might have never heard the gospel. I just start preaching if I think they're spying on me. All right. Or if so, I usually do it for the other Christian that's freaked out, you know. <laughs> be careful, or they might be listening. All right. Oh, they are. Well, hey, let's get and pray for this guy. <laughs> Jesus loves you too. <laughs> And they end up not reporting you because they feel, you know, you, you hit, you prophesy correctly. <laughs> I know what you're doing at three in the morning. Oh my God, he knows. Now you're, spy, now you're spying on him in the spirit. Does your wife know about that? I won't tell her. As long as you don't report us, I won't I'll tell yours. But I'll pray for you. Hey, it takes one to know one. Elijah knew what his servant was doing. I saw you talking to that guy and offered money when I told you not to. With the Gehazi, I like, eh, come on, we, we got some, we got some CIA, FBI, supernatural intelligence too. Who's your daddy now? Oh man! So some of you are like, this is great, but now get on with the meeting, please. Well, you know what? This is the meeting right here. Just sitting here going, Ugh. that's the meeting. What scripture and verse is that? Oh, uh, Acts 2. I'll pour my spirit. They're drunk. We're not drunk as you suppose, but we've been drinking something. Just not like you suppose. <laughs> That's Peter. Sometimes you got to get drunk to do the thing God told you. Because you're too sober. If you think it too much, you won't do it. <sighs> mm. Man, 
Do you know bald heads can grow hair in the glory? I've seen it. When I saw it, when I went to heaven, I didn't see many bald people up there. Not that you won't go to heaven if you're bald, but that you will have hair. Like you see your grandma in heaven, they don't look like, hey honey, they're like young. There's no pharmacies up there. <laughs> I don't think there's any beds in the, in, the, in, the, in the mansions in heaven because it's 24 hours of sunlight. Think about that. Sorry, if you own a mattress industry. Oh, man. Thank you, Lord. I'm really getting infused with glory right now. Some of you, you need this joy. Some of you need it. Most of you, you know, we're doing pretty good, but a few of you look a little tense, like constipation, like... Like just, something's bothering you, there's a blockage, and God's deep unblocking it. Amen? He's letting the river flow so you can be free. I went to Dubai the first time, there was a thousand people, and there was this heaviness, and they're like, be careful, don't say this, don't say that. We could have the Muslim secret police in here, we could have imams, and we could have, uh, you know, and people from Saudi Arabia flew in, it was a big meeting. And, uh, and it was like years ago, before anyone I knew was going to that country, and I got on the floor, I just got in the river, I just started getting wasted drunk, I saw myself in heaven, swimming in the crystal sea. I forgot I was in Dubai, in the meeting, I was on the floor, they already thought I was on the floor, there was something wrong, like, did, 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 did you need a doctor? And then I heard my name, would David come now and speak? So I got up off the floor and I just forgot everything they told me not to say. I was like, hey everybody, I was in another realm, another dimension. Not dementia, yeah, that's different. That's, how do you know the difference? Check the medication. If the trees are talking back at you, then that's not the glory, okay? So I'm in there. <laughs> and all of a sudden I just go, hey, please leave all your remote control uh, explosive backpacks and remote control devices in the lobby before you come in. And everyone, it was like this awkward silence, like, like, you, like an uncle, an uncle says at a gathering on Thanksgiving they shouldn't have said, like, and the pastor's like, what are you doing? We're, we're dead. And like this weird silence, and then everyone started laughing. The glory came in, and then miracles started breaking out. White hair started turning black, and gold teeth, and tumors, and it exploded. People got saved. It was just a lightness, because I was under this Saul's armor thing, like, hey, here's, you know, it's different here, you know, than in America. You got to do it, because trust me, we know, and we don't want to get people in trouble, and we don't want to go to jail. Like, you know, it was all that fear stuff, and you just had to get out of that. Same in Qatar. Qatar, you're not even allowed to do meetings. And we did it in a hotel. All these three Iranians came in because they were staying in the hotel. They got radically saved. Then the next day, there's 20 Iranians on business hearing the music in the basement of the hotel. Or thing. They, are we allowed to come in? Yeah, come on in. And the power guys started hitting them. And I'm half Jewish, right? They could probably kill me. I didn't care. It was fun, you know. I, I'm only half, so I, I use my other half. Oh, I'm Gentile, man. My, I'm, I'm half French, so I'm French. My mother, are uh, you not American? It's ridiculous. My name is uh, David. I'm from Germany. What's the problem here? I'll stop screwing around. You do the accents to get out of jail. I'm Russian. Putin tell me to kill you. It's nothing personal. It's only business. No, I'm joking. No, I love Russians. They don't kill people. Only Putin does. All right, they don't kill people. The, the regular Russians are really cool and nice. <sighs> Man. Or if, if it really gets bad, you get caught in a bad situation. I'm Canadian, eh? What's all about? And you, and you get out of it that way. Everyone thinks they're neutral, but they're not. They were in Iraq, they were in Afghanistan, but I don't know how they get away with acting like, they were, like they're Switzerland when they're not. They're, they're smart, Canadians. They pull off as if they're Switzerland when they're in every war with us, but it's undercover. They don't advertise it. Smart. So get out of jail. I got detained in Russia for like an hour and a half because I came in and went to these meetings in St. Petersburg, and they go, Op open the suitcase. I go, oh no. They open it, and all my books are in Russian. Do you have a visa to doing ministry here stuff here? No, that's illegal. You broke the law. I'm like, what? What law? I, I, so I, they detained us, took our passports, took everything, undercover policemen, googling our stuff, interrogating us. Then Stephanie reminded me, "Hey, let's go to the court of heaven." Oh yeah, Lord, I repent for saying those guys are stupid and have low IQ, which I did tell my wife. I repented. Lord, okay, they're just doing their job. Now, Lord, I go to the court, present my case. You told me to go to Russia. You told me to go on the world. You knew if I applied for a visa, I wouldn't have gotten it anyway. So I, but I repent if I'm wrong. Now you choose now in the courts of heaven. Please give us a quick verdict because I got to get out of here. And after an hour and a half, within five minutes of that prayer, they came back and go, here are your books. You can take your books with you. Can I go now? Yes. Then I try to act all American. Well, why did you detain me? I want to know why. She said, don't ask, just go. Trust me, don't ask, just go. Before we change our mind. We got out, man. 
So it's like, but you have fun in these nations, but you have to like, you have to flow. You know, you have to figure out whatever. Sometimes you get in a hard spot. In, in Sri Lanka, they were trying to deport me because it's a Buddhist country. And it was 2,000 people getting saved every night. And the Buddhist priests were getting saved. You know how I knew it? Orange, no hair. And, and when the people saw them get saved, then they, Buddha lived in Sri Lanka before he died. He, he had the blast, his tooth is enshrined there somewhere. Like, so they ran there and got saved every night, every night. So immigration would come and bring immigration officials to the meeting to hand me, and if they, they're supposed to hand you like a subpoena that you have to go to immigration. But you know what they did? They keep giving it to the pastor to give to me. But, so then later the goal goes, oh man, immigration came in, you're in trouble, they want you to come in. And I go, what's the rules here? Well, if you physically receive, you have to go. Well, I didn't receive it. He goes, exactly. So, just don't go. Okay, so I didn't go. Next night, they come again. He did not come. Give this to David. I didn't get it. I don't know what you're talking about. So I, I told him not to give it to me. I didn't see it. Three nights. Fourth night, they're looking for us in the hotels. We're riding elephants on the fourth day in the jungle. They can't find us. And then I'm like, oh man, was anybody tired of praying a hardcore to get out of the country? We had to go through immigration, you know, to get out of the country and passport control. And I see a sign, immigration. There's a guy with a, with a bat standing there looking at all the people. So I, I put a hat on, glasses. I'm invisible, I'm invisible, I'm invisible. And we barely got through, got on the plane, got the heck out. And I've never been batting since. But we pulled it off. Not, not because of that, it just didn't you know i don't know maybe one day when there's a new government or something i don't know so so like some of these places but you have you're like mr magoo you almost got killed 10 times but you don't even know it that's the fun part if you stay in the joy you're like oh I pro- that's the times that i know of i don't even know how many times probably almost got killed and they don't even know it see it's fun so what are you scared of in the end times and when you prophesy about end time stuff don't shake your voice to make it sound more end timesy you're scaring the kids now and the lord is saying we are in the end time you don't need to do that you don't need to do a voiceover that's not how god sounds anyway you don't need to do voiceovers for god you use your voice with your glory and just speak the word if it's from god it'll work you know i I got a word for you bob what is it no minus the voiceover sound effects can you just tell me the word If you're a hillbilly, just do it hillbilly style. Hey, well, Bob, the Lord told me to tell you, and that'll work. You don't need to add, you know, Shakespeare. Well, here's a word, Bob. The Lord sendeth thee to a place you know thee not, and fee fi fo fum thee thou though. What does that mean? Don't know. I don't have to give interpretation. I'm just prophesying. No, no, so. <laughs> I'm getting drunk up here, man. <laughs> so I'm helping you prophesy without looking weird. Oh man. (sighs) Oh, this feels good. Oh, I'm back. All right. I forgot why I was here. (laughs) You think I'm here to minister to you? I'm just here to get blasted. Yeah. I was having a good time because I got to keep going. I got to go to Israel next week. I'm taking this with me, you know. A bunch of Ukrainian, you know, Ukrainian Jews are very serious. They're looking at me. Hey, how you doing? All unsafe. 300, 400 people just stared at me. That's what I got to do with when I get to Israel. And you got to bring in the glory and just got to go into it. Like it's just, it happens or it doesn't. It has to happen. It always does. And they're like, oh, not bad. Okay. You know, the Russians even, Russians are more serious than Ukraine. We got some Russians here, right? How many Russians we got here? Oh, it's okay. No one's going to hurt you. I promise. I won't tell Biden where you are. I just met you in the book table. Well, come on. I'm not Russian. There's nothing Russian about me. I'm American like everybody else. Anyway, we lo- I love Russia. God loves her. Anyway, you're here. I, I get it. God's going to use the Russians, man, big time. You know what's cool? You know, everyone's worried about the Russians one day maybe evading America. You got so many Russians in Washington State, they'll, they'll get confused. They come and the welcoming party is other Russians. Slava Bogo. Wait, what? Same in Israel. There's like over a million Russians. If they, if they come and invade, they're like, wait, are you? You're, what's going on here? If the Chinese invade California, they're going to see a bunch of Chinese people greeting them. See, the Lord has a backup plan. It's going to confusing him. 
especially the born again spirit filled Chinese Christians and Russians imagine that uh, they're going to be the evangelism teams amen alright how long have I gone I have no idea where are you supposed to go east it's been 40 yeah we're, we're supposed to go about 40 minutes that was the plan tonight so tonight was a weird night it's 40 and he does 40 and then we do something at the end I can't tell you it's a secret but it has something to do with impartation and the word tunnel the word fire I don't know no, no, not fire tunnel. Maybe tunnel fire. It's another level. Because a tunnel of fire is different. There's like a matrix that opens up. A fire. Get it? It's not a tunnel you go through. There's like a portal of fire and you tunnel through it. There's a diff- that's different. It's a deeper level of revelation of that. All right. Well... I love you guys. I hope you came last night because I had we had I had more time to minister and do all the stuff in this morning. And if you want to come, April we got a conference Passover in Phoenix, Arizona, April 14 to 17. I'll be there. Stephanie, Steve Swanson, um, Troy Brewer, Cindy Jacobs. We have a, four, a three month intensive Bible uh, training, apostolic intensive training, where we mentor you and train you for three months straight. Very intense. You can apply. Next week we'll have it on the website. Not everyone will be accepted that applies for obvious reasons. We need the real serious people so that we can multiply everything we're doing into you. And I'm David Herzog and I approve this message. And I love you guys. I love Pastor. I love, I love all you guys. Um, I love Seattle. Amen. Raining in Seattle. Come on, Pastor. Let's give Pastor Stott a big hand. Oh, you want me to introduce our next guest is going to be Charlie Champ great man of God that's been around the world a great beard also he carries an awesome beard his beard is legendary people around the world have tried to copy that beard and they just can't get it exactly right so he's the coolest guy a prophet and, and he doesn't just do prophet sharing he's a real prophet amen he hears the Lord yeah we're, we're doing prophet sharing prophet sharing but we don't get any stocks I don't know what's going on here okay amen how many want to be in pro- the prophet sharing business and some of you have a non-profit and that's why you say, how come we're not, pro- how come we're not making any money? We're not profiting because you, you called it and no- we don't want profit. All right. Are you staying? My goodness. How many of you love David? I like getting around David because he lets me just have a lot of fun with him. Get drunk in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Take your hand and put it on your neighbor right now. Just give him a drink. David and I were talking earlier, and, we, and I, I saw that break, breaker angel, that big breaker angel right now, just breaking people through. Whew. You could step into that tonight if you need a miracle. You need a touch from heaven. Let's have a drink right now. Oh, God, thank you. Whew. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Lord just keeps coming in like wave after wave after wave I told David I like hanging out with him because like I get to step into the same revelatory realm that he's like we were in Phoenix together and it was at his place and it was just like we were tag teaming together and it's like you step into the exact same thing that's flowing and you just and you also get an impartation of it how many love that I mean, like when the wines start mixing and you can start tasting the different flavors. Some people only like their flavor and they don't want anybody to mix with them at all. I like David because he likes, you know, he lets all the flavors come in and mix. Let's me have fun. Be myself. I mean, like being yourself. Yeah. Ooh. So you should just take your hand, put it back on your neighbor again, give him a drink. I'm really just praying that you get hammered. <sighs> Lord, let your presence just move right now. Ooh. Yeah. I'm seeing angels moving all over this meeting right now. <sighs> Lord, thank you for that miracle realm that's here. Just sweet. Ooh, yeah. Like I just seeing like curvatures of the spine, scoliosis. I'm seeing angels 
like stretching out the spinal column right now. If you if you need a miracle in your spine right now, just receive it. Like I see angels literally stretching out the vertebrae, stretching out the spinal column right now. Lord, thank you. Ooh. Yeah. All night you've been drinking. Some of you have even been losing weight just in the atmosphere and the glory because it's already here. It's just been here. Just open up your mouth and just take a drink. Whew. Yeah, Lord, we worship you. Wow. Wow. Some of you are going to get dental miracles too. It's like a really awesome realm of glory that's in here right now. I love that glory realm. And there's something about the glory. I actually learned this from David years ago is that you take your faith and you place it in the glory. You take your faith and then you put it in the glory and it actually expands to a greater depth. And so when you take what your faith is and you stick it in the glory, then there can be more manifestations. There can be greater realms of the presence of God that begins to manifest and things that you couldn't even necessarily believe for. The moment that you step into the realm of glory and you take the faith, that seed of faith that you have, and you put it in the glory realm, it begins to expand and explode. So just take your faith right now and your expectation and just stick it in the glory that's already here right now and just start receiving. Because you may have only, you may have came here and thought, well, God, you're just going to heal like one little thing that's wrong with me or God, you're just going to do this little thing. But what if God wants to just change and transform you? He wants to take you back like 20 years. He wants to bring you up in a, in a new dimension of his presence. He wants to so intoxicate you in his glory that you get carried out. Because actually the glory, I mean, the glory is a realm. And then there's realms in the glory. Like on, on Friday, I talked about Bel Perazim, which is the master of breakthrough. And I've, I was actually here in 2016 and I experienced the river of God. I was, I was up in the, um, the, the place I was staying and I got caught in the glory of God. And I was actually in that realm because Bel Perazim is a realm it's a frequency it's a vibration it's a river Whew. some of you need to dip down and just take a drink right now that river Whew. oh i got caught up in that river and i actually started seeing all the different colors that were in that rainbow of that river I started hearing sounds and voices. See, some of you need to just open up your mouth and just start worshiping Him. And as you start worshiping Him, the angels start to begin to gather and they start to worship along with us. And the Bible says that as we begin to worship, God actually rides on the praises of His people. And so when we open up our mouths, sometimes we're just waiting. We're like, wait. But so, there is a place where you step into the glory and when you step into the glory and you begin to open up your mouth, see the waves of the frequency of heaven begins to move and you begin to see greater depths and greater manifestations of His glory. There are things that we need to experience that God wants to unleash on us that are actually in the room because it's full right now. The room is full of stuff right now. And when we open up our mouth and we start worshiping Him, God begins to ride on the praises of His people. Come on, open up your mouth. Just start worshiping Him right now. King of glory. King of glory. King of glory, King of glory, we worship you. Uh -huh. King of glory, we worship you. King of glory, we worship you. Mighty God, everlasting King. Oh, we magnify you. Come on, open up your mouth. Just start worshiping Him. Oh, King of glory. King of glory, strong and mighty. Realms, realms of glory. Realms, realms of glory. Swirling, 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 swirling. Signs and wonders 
angelic hosts, miracles, miracles, honey wheels, ha <laughs> ha, honey wheels, sha pa 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 pa, King of Glory, King of Glory, King of Glory. Signs and wonders and miracles. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's it. Just open up your mouth right now. Just worship Him. Oh, King of Glory. Miracles are happening all over the room right now. Angels are moving like lightning. So I'm seeing lightnings literally moving all over the room right now, striking people. Lord, thank you for the striking, the striking, the hitting of your mark. Lord, thank you for the angelic realm being released in this place tonight, even all across Seattle. Lord, we thank you for signs and wonders. Let the lightning strikes hit the mark. Miracles. Miracles, miracles. Come on, lift up your hands. Just worship Him. Make, make yourself like a lightning rod tonight. Make yourself like a lightning rod. God, strike me right now. If you're hungry for Him, He'll touch you. If you're hungry for Him, He'll hit you. God, I thank you right now for signs and wonders. Realms of glory. Realms of glory. Realms of glory. Lord, thank you for healings taking place all over the meeting right now. Lord, thank you for miracles happening all over the room right now. Lord, thank you for thank you for scars and scar tissue vanishing right now. Lord, thank you right now. I'm seeing like, like from a C-section, like the scar from a C-section vanishing right now. Lord, thank you for healing power flowing. And I speak to the skin cells right now. And I command you to go back before the C-section. And Lord, I thank you for brand new skin. Brand new skin. Brand new skin right now. Eczema, I command you in the name of Jesus. Leave the body now. Lord, thank you for brand new skin. Brand new skin. Lord, thank you for even... Ooh, yeah, wow. Oh. Lord, thank you for that glory right now. Thank you for creative miracles. Lord, thank you for the... I'm seeing angels releasing creative miracles right now. I'm seeing like a right eye. I see an angel with the right eye. You need a miracle. like a. You need a brand new right eye. God has given you like a... He's putting a new eye right now. Lord, thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. see the angels literally doing surgery on necks and backs right now and stretching out the spinal column lord thank you right now for creative miracles in the spine and the spinal column whoa 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 torn rotator cuffs being healed right now lord thank you brand new ligaments right out of heaven just Receive that right now. Jesus. 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 Seeing these, seeing like these honey wheels. It's like liquid honey, like golden honey. I see it being poured out right now, even on bank accounts. Lord, thank you. Financial breakthrough in people's bank accounts. 
gory economics hitting people's finances right now. Lord, I thank you. I, I just, Lord, we release Isaiah 10, 27, a breakthrough through the oil on people's finances right now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing like, I, I, I feel like this is like somebody's pin number. It's like 1027 is your pin number. God is touching your finances right now. He's touching your bank account right now. I keep seeing 1027. That's actually your pin number. And God is touching that right now. I don't, is that you? That's 1027 is your pin number? Come, come here, let me, let me, let me lay, can I pray for you? Just lift up your hands. Lord, I think you're just going to hit his ministry. Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name Lord let let an increase come let the oil flow on Nathan's ministry on his finances Lord I thank you that you're increasing his faith right now Lord to do greater and bigger things greater and bigger things are yet to come Lord I thank you for that that breakthrough that breaker angel Lord I thank you that a new angel the Lord says is a sign to your life Nathan it's a spirit of a breaker it's the angelic realm of breakthrough Lord I thank you for touching him touching his ministry and Jesus mighty name come on if you love that just give God a shout right now if you want it to hit your account you should shout right now 1027 release it right now release it right now release it right now release it right now come on lift up your hands just a few more minutes and some of you should actually get out your cell phone right now and just lift it in the air and then check your account right now. Check your account and see if money's coming to your account supernaturally. Sometimes we'll, we'll be doing meetings like this, and you know, and the and the and the anointing isn't and the glory isn't even as strong as it is in, in this, some of these meetings. And and the angels will go in and just start depositing money in people's accounts right as we're just in this. See, I love I love hanging out with David because then I just get to step right in. He does all the work, and then I just get to come up and just have fun. So, Lord, I just thank you right now for angels being released upon people's finances, money in people's accounts, glory economics right now. Lord, release that in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Some of you should just start checking your accounts right now. Just start checking them and see if there's money that's in there. When it starts happening for one... It might even just be a, it might, you might be like, oh, well, it's just $100. Yeah, but when one person gets it, then it actually is a breakthrough and others begin to get it as well. So Lord, thank you right now for financial breakthrough, financial breakthrough, financial breakthrough. And Lord, I even pray for those that uh, have have money in the in, in, in the stocks right now, Lord, that it would just begin to shoot up right now. Things that they've invested in, Lord, let it just begin to increase, 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 increase. Whew. Lord, Lord, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Lord, thank you for that seer anointing just being released right now. It's like a new seer anointing being released. I keep seeing uh, 9 9, like September 9th. That's your birthday. God's releasing a brand new seer anointing on you. It's like your birthday's 9 9. It might be a couple people in here, but it's 9 9. I keep seeing it. If that, come here right now. Come here. If, you, if your birthday's 9 9, it's, it's actually 1 Samuel 9.9. 9. It's that, that they were first called seers before they were called prophets. So Lord, thank you right now. It's like actually just a realm that's here. So just step right in front of me. Just step right in front of me. Your, your birthday's like 9.9. 9. Lord, thank you. Just come closer to me. Thank you, God. Just, just lift up your hands. Lord, thank you for that. Open that realm. That's it. Take it. Thank you, God. 
Wow, wow. Just a couple more minutes. Lift your hands right now. somebody that's here or, or if you're watching online but uh, before I got uh, to the meeting tonight I actually got Isaiah 54 verse 16 it says um, behold I have created the smith that blows the coals in the fire and brings that uh, forth as an instrument for his work I kept getting the I felt like it was a last name I know it's very common but smith and I feel like you've been wondering uh, and it might be somebody for, that's online, but it might your last name might be Smith that's here tonight. But the Lord says that it's Isaiah 54 verse 16, that He created you and that He's releasing a fresh fire upon you. And He's actually bringing you forth as an instrument for His work. And you've been wondering and you've been actually in a place of like debating. And there has been a little bit of like... The, a sadness and depression upon you is that you okay just come here and the lord says that it's breaking off of you that he is just lift up your hands the lord says that he's breaking that off of you and that he's blowing his fire upon your life and that he's actually created you as an instrument for his glory and and his power and his splendor and the lord is going to use you in a mighty way and i see you like the the lord's sword is going to flow out of your mouth and as he Hebrews chapter 4 uh, of uh, uh, verse 12 that the double-edged sword is going to come out of your mouth and the Lord says that you're no longer going to be double-minded you're going to be single in your heart and that God is going to begin to blow his fire upon you because he's made you an instrument for his glory and I even see you beginning to worship in a new way and there's an anointing to as a worshiper that's going to begin to flow out of you and the Lord says that I've called you I've called you I've called you never doubt your calling never think about that I haven't called you. The Lord says, I have called you for a purpose. I molded and fastened you out of my fire and I made you an instrument for war. So Lord, I bless her right now. Come on, lift up your hands. Ooh. Ooh just take another drink right now. Some of you are getting healed right now, just in the atmosphere. Whew. I mean, it's been here all night. I mean, it's just been here. Just If God's touching you right now, He's healing you, just wave at me. Wow, come here and tell me what's going on. Just come real quick. What's happening? Yeah, the tumor was, yeah. It's smaller than like a pea size. It was, the other night it was... It was, a, it was five centimeters and now it's just literally like literally smaller than a pea right now and, and in the atmosphere it's just dissolving wow go lift your hands Father right now thank you that you're completing it fully in your glory tonight that's it take it Lord thank you that it's completely gone completely gone completely gone what's going on man what's happening you've been cancer in the right long yeah and it's it's just it's been getting less throughout the conference uh -huh. and i just felt fire come on me wow. um it made, like just yeah you closer to me hang me by the hand <laughs> Oof. What, what, what's happening patty are you up for something yeah. yeah what's happening what's going on so i fell about five months ago on my shoulder and I, I've been like just declaring healing over it. And I, I'm thinking it was a rotator. When you called it out, it's like the pain's gone. Uh, Hallelujah. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That's so awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, some of you should. I, I love weight loss miracles. Like, some of you should start checking your pant line right now. I'm telling you, you, you might have lost weight right now in the glory of God you, you and you'll find like room in your waist some of you are like yes I need that right now some of you are like no I don't need to lose any more weight 
I actually need to gain weight. Well, God can actually make you fat. You just, really? No, really, really. God will make you fat. He will. Just look at your neighbor and say, God will make you fat. Yeah, no, really. It, the anointing will bring fatness. Some of you need to gain weight. You're not, you're like, no, I'm skinny. I'm anorexic. Yes, gain and you'll come out, you know, in your, in your pants, like your shirt, the buttons will pop off. That'd be new. It's usually weight loss. Somebody comes up, all the buttons are broke off. They're like, you've been at the buffet. No, no, no. Is that, is that a glory meeting? Just pfft. Wow. I've seen other things grow too, like uh, diamonds and rings. Where the the diamond actually starts growing, I've seen I've seen plenty of times where gemstones came, diamonds came, emeralds came, all kinds. That this that realm that's here right now. Like I love drinking this. Just take another drink right now. I'm telling you. You say, well, I don't know if I believe that. Well, get ready because it will happen. You start drinking in this realm, and it'll start happening. Gold teeth happen in this realm. Open up your mouth right now. Lord, I thank you. How many need a dental miracle tonight? How many need a gold grill? No, I'm serious. You want a gold grill? You're just like... You want to be like the Island Boys? Just the Island Boys. You want to be like the Island Boys? Just open up your mouth right now. Just drink this in. Listen, you could get a gold grill in the meeting and go on TikTok and make a million dollars. This could actually be God. This could actually be God right now. You're like, I don't know. You could come up with something else. You know, like Island Boys. You could be like, I'm a Seattle boy. <laughs> I've seen like gold teeth, seen diamonds in teeth before. Come on, oh, just lift your hands right now. Just open up your mouth. Just have a drink right now. We actually have seen that here. We've seen that in 2016 where people got dental miracles. You might need a dental miracle tonight. Lord, thank you right now. I know, I know. I, I don't, I, some of you are like, no, I'd rather go to the dentist. I'd rather have my whole face numb. I'd rather have pain all night and have my friend pray for me and, and just say, you know, can you please pray because the pain is so severe. You know? Just, you're like, no, that's not me. Just lift your hands right now. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you for dental miracles right now. Whew. Lord, thank you for... Oof. That realm of glory just moving through this meeting right now. Yeah, just open your mouth wide right now. Whew. Yeah. Just receive that. Lord, I thank you for gold crowns. I thank you for gold fillings. I thank you for diamonds and teeth. Lord, I thank you for, Lord, even, even like, let oil come too, Lord. Out of people's hands. Whoa. Whoa. Now just drink that in right now. open up your mouth just start worshiping him just start releasing a frequency silver and all the gold belongs to you all the silver and the gold belongs to you the glory is yours We give you all the glory, give you all the glory, silver and the gold 
and the glory. Oh. Jesus. Cover the ark with your gold. The glory. Woo. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. There it is. That's it. Open up your mouth. Just start worshiping Him right now. Oh, we love you, Jesus. King of glory, King of glory. King of glory, King of glory. Yeah. Thank you for waves of glory. Love you, Jesus. Worthy, 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 worthy. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Yeah. 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 King of glory. seeing that right eye like a detached retina on in the right eye and God is giving a brand new right eye. Lord, thank you for that creative miracle right now. of you needed a dental miracle tonight just wave at me you're waving at me okay this is what i want you to do grab your cell phone real quick turn the light on on your phone okay when you got that done just wave it at me okay now this is what i want you to do I want you to have seven different people check your mouth right now. If you're sitting next to somebody, just lean over and have them check your mouth right now. Serious. You might have to get out of your seat to have seven different ones. There's something about the law of observation that when particles are observed, they actually change. So just open up your mouth. And if God's doing something in your dental, He's doing something in your teeth. I, 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 I haven't done this in a long time. But if God's doing something in, in your teeth, like you're getting, like maybe you didn't have a tooth, now you have a new tooth. Maybe uh, you needed new feel, fillings and God filled them. Have somebody check right now and have them do it seven different times. Some of you are just looking at me. You're just looking at me and like, no, no, I'm not going to do that. Well, there's something about actually stepping out and doing it that you'll begin to see it. What's happening? Lift your hands 
right now. Close your eyes. If God is actually starting to do something, just wave at me. You're up here for something? What's happening? When you called out Smith. Yeah. It was me and I couldn't get up here. I was afraid. Okay, lift your hands right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for Smith. Thank you for, is that your last name? Smith. Nelly Smith. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the fire. That's your first name, Smith. Okay, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your Are you coming? Something happening? What's happening? Are, are you getting a dent? Are you something happening in your dental? You couldn't chew on that side? When I bit down, uh-huh. it would be tender, but yeah. now it's not tender anymore. It's not tender anymore? No. Yeah. Come here right now. Lord, thank you. Ooh, that's it. Yeah. Lord, thank you right now. Glory. Are you coming to tell me something? Come here. Just step over here. Put your hand on your neighbor. Just give him another drink right now. What's happening? God's touching you, just wave at me right now. He's doing something with you. Maybe you got a healing, a miracle, wave at me right now. God did something for you. Okay, I'm seeing some hands. Lord, thank you right now. Wow. What's happening? You're waving at me big over there. Come here. Come here, tell me what's happening. Come over here and tell me. You don't have to shout it. Yeah. You feel your you broke your jaw? Uh huh. Okay. Oh wow. Your jaw was out of alignment, and you felt God is bringing it back into alignment right now. Is that awesome? Yes. Yes. Wow. Did you hear what that what what happened? Her jaw was out of alignment and God realigned her jaw. Somebody hit her so hard that it had done something to her jaw. She had to have a like a surgery to try to recorrect it, but it didn't correct. And God just totally did it right in the presence of God right now. Come on. Okay, I don't know how we're going to facilitate this tonight. But we're doing a tunnel of fire what would you call it David it's tunnel fire which is different than a fire tunnel tunnel of fire but Pastor Darren's going to tell us how we're going to do this because I'm um, I'm highly administrative at these things and this is definitely not my first tunnel fire Some, we'll have some speed bumps. It will. Um, okay, we just run them over. <laughs> we just run them over. <laughs> no, just Nate, do you? Uh, just I was gonna say, just leave them. We'll, we'll run them over. <laughs> It'll be okay. I mean, it was okay in Pakistan to run people over. It's just no difference. Just one. So For 100,000, it was one. 
We'll get our our our, uh, our our Renaissance Coalition ministers up here, our SRC ministry team pastors. Um, at the end, we'll have uh, David and Charlie. Really quick, so um, we'll line everybody up. But uh, we're gonna we've got we've got 400 people here tonight, and so what that means is that if you fall over in the in the tunnel fire, we will have to drag you out. Um, otherwise, you will get trampled. Uh, and we've lost one too many good people that way. The, the next thing is, is that, um, is that you, you, this is not going to be like a turtle tunnel. Okay, this is not a turtle tunnel. This is a rabbit tunnel. And 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 uh, and so listen, if you're on the if you're on the ministry team here, uh, please no prophetic words and no dream interpretation. This is just a reminder, literally the only thing that should be coming out of your mouth is fire. As loud as you possibly can. <laughs> um, so yeah, so anyways, we're going to go, we're, it's going to go quick, okay? It's going to go quick. Also, um, only go through one time. Okay? O- only one time. That's all you need. Just, you engage by faith. You pull with faith. Is that good? Awesome. Goodbye online. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bless you.